What's the best part about going back to school? Let's say it all together now. Back to school supplies. <laughs> so I'll be starting school in a couple weeks and I'm excited as well as a bit nervous just because I've been out of school. So, you know, like <laughs> Devin is kind of like awkward. I feel like a little out of touch with like the socializing. <laughs> but one of the things that I've been really enjoying in preparation for school is gathering up all of my school supplies. This is something that I think back and reflect on a lot is if I had the stationery that I did when I was still in school, I think it would have made a difference. Now I'm not saying that those things are directly correlated to a higher academic success and performance. I just think that I would have enjoyed my school experience a tad bit more. I don't know, but now that I have a second chance to round up my school essentials, I thought I'd sit down and share it with you guys in this video. One of the first things that I thought of when I decided to go back to school was what notebook am I gonna use to take notes in? And despite having a vast selection in my current stash, I felt as though I didn't have quite the right notebook. And you know that just, as someone who's trying to strive to declutter and simplify their space, this is just kind of like a dangerous path to walk on. But I I did actually try using one of my tool disc bound notebooks. And the issue that I came across in my weird, twisted, <laughs> not very logical thinking, I felt like the cover was a bit too fancy for school. So after I went through all that reasoning in my own head, I opted for the tool disc bound notebook in black. This is actually their three subject student notebook and it's much thicker than my current two tool disc bound notebook systems that I have. So I kind of like that there's a little bit more wiggle room uh, as far as how much paper I can actually fit in here. If you're not familiar with disc bound systems, I like to think of them as a hybrid between a binder and a spiral notebook. I like that you have the flexibility of removing and reorganizing all of the pages that are in it, but you don't have the clunkiness of the metal rings in the middle. That was something that I always just kind of I always feared like pinching myself in those like rings and I don't know like binders can get really big and I mean I guess disc bound systems can also get really large as well but I don't know I like I like the idea of the disc bound system I especially like it for school. It came with three dividers and the dividers have little pockets in them. So if I have like little loose leaf things, I can stick them in there. That was the only thing that I kind of hesitated on. With my nicer covers, they do have a little like pocket section that I could use to put like little loose leaf things. But this cover unfortunately does not have that. I think it's an okay trade-off though. I went ahead and decorated my little cover that says, you know, that this belongs to me. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm really enjoying the disc bound system right now. And I, I've always liked the idea of it, but I haven't found the right fit for it in my current lifestyle. Now that I'm going back to school though, I feel like it's just the perfect match. I feel like in a school setting, I'll really be able to enjoy all of the benefits of using a tool disc bound notebook system. And it could just be the honeymoon phase and the newness of getting into a new notebook, but I kind of want to transfer, migrate, move into a tool disc bound notebook system for my bullet journal, but that's that's beside the point. This is what I'm using for school. It did come with a couple of different refill pages. So there are some undated monthlies in here. It also came with labels for the subject dividers. So I thought that was really nice. And then the notebook was filled with this lined paper. One of the things that I find the least favorable for me personally in the tool disc bound notebook system is that it comes with 
lined pages. And I understand that that is probably suitable for most people's needs and preferences, but for my own, it just, it's not the right vibe, you know what I mean? And that resulted in me ordering a couple of different refill options. I originally was just looking for the graph paper, but it was back ordered and I already got my textbook for school. Wanted to start diving in, taking some notes. So I went and ordered the variety pack, which has the graph paper as well as the dot grid paper. I have it stored right now in these little A5 containers that I got from Daiso. And I think it came with 300 sheets. So 100 sheets of the graph paper, 100 of the dot grid, and then it also came with the lined paper, which I know is kind of a little bit backwards because I didn't really want any more of the lined paper but I ended up with some more lined paper. It's not awful, like it's usable and I will use it. I've used some of it. It just is not like, you know, it's not my favorite thing to use. I did notice that the lined paper that came with my two premium tool disc bound notebooks had different lined pages. What am I trying to say? There are different lined formats. So this one has the little bar at the top, sort of a subject line and a space for a date. And then the one that came in my three subject notebook kind of looks more like a traditional college rule school paper that you would see in a spiral notebook. So, I mean, oh, I feel like talking about all of this is getting me excited just in wanting to go deeper in the disc bound universe there's just so much there there's so much opportunity to like get creative and customize things which i love and sort of in that same note i did decide to finally order the tool disc bound hole punch and i can finally hole punch all of my ink swatches and actually get my ink journal organized so that's a huge plus i don't know why i didn't just get this sooner but i think because i don't know i was just getting things for school it felt like okay i'll probably use this for school as well so there's two reasons now why i should get it but i figured this whole punch would be good to just have if I'm printing things out and I want to be able to put it in my notebook. Having a whole punch I think will be essential to keeping things organized and kind of helping things evolve in my disc bound notebook system. Something that's probably not as exciting but definitely necessary. I got some index cards. These are from Target and I was actually surprised at how difficult it was to find colored index cards that weren't neon. I checked several places and all of the colored index cards that were available were bright fluorescent colors, which I guess is cool if you want like your eyes to feel tired just from looking at the colors, but Whew, my eyes are just, you know, I'm trying to take better care of them. And I also felt like even if I tried to write and create flashcards with those neon backgrounds, it just wouldn't, like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't achieve a productive study session. So I finally found these sort of lighter pastel ones at Target. They're a little bit flimsier than I was hoping for, but you know, I think it's it's an okay trade-off. So I've started to make some flashcards as I start to go through some of the chapters in my textbook and get things kind of ready for when I actually start school. During my search for non-fluorescent colored index cards, I did come across these Tombow brush pens and it's really an impulse purchase. I don't have a black brush pen currently, so it is sort of, I don't know that it's necessary, but it's not, I had been meaning to get a new black brush pen. I used up all of the ink in the one that I had previously. So 
opportunity and impulse they met and resulted in this purchase. One has a harder tip, the other one has a soft tip, and I just figured it would also be handy for note taking. I've really only used the soft tip one. The harder tip one, I haven't really found useful for the way that I want to take notes, but it's there, it came in the pack, and I like them so far. The only other thing that I don't have to share in this video, because it hasn't come in yet, are some blue light blocking glasses for when I'm, you know, doing a lot of screen time. I mean, it's something that I probably could have been benefiting from this entire time, because a lot of my work is already in front of a screen, and I didn't really need school to like prompt me to get them, but that's what prompted me. So at least to that, I do believe I've earned myself a pat on the back for not going too crazy with the school supply shopping. Again, it's something that I'm really enjoying and I've been very excited about, but I also wanted to be cautious and aware of not, you know, letting things get out of hand. I have a great stationery collection from which I can pull from. So a lot of my writing implements that I've set aside for note taking and things, they were already there and at my disposal. So I'm really, really grateful and thankful for that. I would love to hear from you. If you were getting ready to go back to school soon, what supplies would you be most excited to use? Or if you are in school, let us know what you've been enjoying so far. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.